Now we're on to the last section of the core neurology exam, coordination and gait. We're going to check finger to nose. Have the patient touch your finger and then touch their nose. Make sure they extend their arm and go quickly. Move it around to make sure they hit the target. Now switch arms. You've already completed heel to shin when the patient was supine. Also, you may choose to check rapid movements. See if you can do this with your fingers. Remember the rapid movements also have to do with the corticospinal tract and not just cerebellar function. For gait, the patient's going to walk out and walk back, and sometimes I take them out of the room if there's not enough room to really see their gait. I like to watch their legs as they go away from me and watch their arms swing as they come towards me. A narrow base suggests spasticity, a wide base ataxia. Sometimes if the patient has proximal weakness of the lower extremities, they'll have a waddling gait. Look for the festinating gait of a Parkinson's patient. After checking the gait, you can have them do tandem gait to check balance. Ask your patient to walk heel toe in a straight line like they're walking a tightrope. This is a good test for balance. Lastly, consider checking for a Romberg sign. In a screening exam, I won't check for a Romberg because I already know if the patient has sensory loss in their feet or not. If you choose to check it, have the patient get down from the exam table and stand with their feet as close together as is comfortable. If the patient's already off balance, they have a coordination problem. Then have the patient close their eyes. If they become more off balance with their eyes closed, they have a positive Romberg sign. This completes the coordination and gait testing. That completes the core neurology exam. We only included those items we think you really needed to use. You may choose to do more if the patient has specific complaints. Feel free to look at the slide review of exam on the main menu whenever needed. We hope this presentation has been helpful to you.